Hello my charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video and if this is your first time with me I'd like to say welcome. My name is Alexis and I design productivity tools to help overwhelmed women manage their time, energy, and expectations. So if you're interested in getting all of your thoughts and plans and ideas out of your head and onto paper so you can get down to business, feel free to check out my latest collection of productivity tools over at the charm shop. Com. So in today's video, I want to walk you through how I create my business marketing plans. And specifically, what I want to show you today is actually my marketing plans for August. Now that we're at the end of the month, and perhaps you're someone who has been following along with me, you may know that at the beginning of August, I actually set up a completely new content schedule for myself, which was that I am posting every day on one of my platforms between YouTube, my blog, Instagram, and my email marketing list as well. So I wanted to kind of show you, number one, the tools that I use to actually create these marketing plans, like how I actually get the plans created and in my planner. And I also want to just give you like an overview of the process and the strategy that I use. So obviously like daily content across like essentially like four platforms is a lot of content to manage. And I thought you guys would like to see a little bit of behind the scenes for how those marketing plans actually get created so that I can execute on them and then produce the content like this video that you get to see and enjoy from various platforms. So obviously all of my content marketing plans and all of that stuff is inside of my planner all nicely organized. So let's go ahead and jump into an overview so you can actually get a bird's eye view at what the plans look like. First, let's talk about the planning tools that I use for my business marketing process. It should be no surprise that I use the inserts from the CEO strategy planner. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the marketing plan set of inserts in today's video. So the first step of my process for creating a marketing plan is to do a content brainstorm. So the way that I do this is using the content brainstorm sheet. I will first of course go ahead and highlight the month that we're in. Like I said before, this is the content plan for August. So then the next thing that I will do is go ahead and fill in the content categories. And you can see here that the categories of content that I had to plan for were planning, business, and energy. So energy for me just refers to mindset and manifestation content. So those are like the categories or the subjects of content that I create in my platforms. So then I'll start coming up with content ideas for each category as it pertains to the five content like subtypes that are listed out down the side of this page. And those subtypes are educate, entertain, inspire, inform, and interact. In my view, content is all for the purpose of one of these outcomes, right? It's either to educate, to entertain, to inspire, inform, or interact with an audience. So as I'm coming up with my content ideas, I will apply them to the box. That's the category, and like the subtype that they belong to. And this is a way that I make sure that all of my content is well balanced, right? That I'm thinking about a variety of different content for my audience. Um, that's not just me always trying to do the exact same thing. Like I'm not always trying to educate my audience with every single piece of content, um, nor am I always just trying to entertain people. I do try to have like a well balanced, um, you know, content repertoire for my audience so that I'm really reaching them in a lot of different ways. So essentially what will happen is I will sit down at this page and I will say, okay, what is it that I want to educate my audience about in terms of, we'll say business, right? And business marketing plans was an idea. Obviously you're watching this video right now. It was a way that I wanted to educate you guys about business this month in my content. So it was marked down there. What's a way that I can talk about, um, you know, energy to, you know, inform my audience, right? So something that I've been doing on Instagram that I recently started were these mindset shift posts where I'm actually giving you guys these mindset shifts, these kind of quotes to think about to give you more information about how your mindset is affecting your life and the outcomes, you know, in your world, right? So 
I will literally go through these one by one and start generating ideas. Sometimes I only come up with one idea. Sometimes I can list out a bunch of ideas. Um, so I will list out as much as possible, get this page filled up with content so that I can then go through and I can actually map out which content I'm going to be using on my actual editorial calendar marketing plan for the month. So this page is the content brainstorm. And then what the way that I print out my inserts for the CEO strategy planner is I will, when I print out my inserts, I could print them out a number of different ways. I like to have a content brainstorm and then on the other side, the content planner so that I've got them kind of put together for the month, but you can print things out as however you'd like <laughs> with your copy of the CEO strategy planner if you choose to use that tool as well. So um, then for the content plan, this is actually where I will develop what content I'm going to be actually executing on and creating that month um, for my marketing. So for this is something I also sometimes call an editorial calendar. So sometimes I'll call it an editorial calendar. That's literally just a very similar term. It's when I'm going to be posting which content on which platform. That's all the term editorial calendar means. Okay. So again, for this page, again, I select the month that I'm doing. And then I've got a couple of boxes that help me organize information before I actually get to mapping out the content plan itself. So for the first box for products, I like to fill in what products I'm focused on selling for the month. Now, obviously it would be great for me to sell all of my products every month, right? But I can't actually talk about everything that I sell, every option that I have in my shop every day. So this box helped me to focus on perhaps the items that are new or something that's on sale or a product that would be timely for me. So for August, I was focused on my 2021 inserts because they were new. I just launched them last month. And so it's timely for me to be talking about them right now. And also the CEO strategy planner because I was going to run a sale on it in August. So it would be good for me to actually have content this month that is a nod to the things that I'm selling, right? So the next box is for opt-ins that I'm focused on. Now, some businesses may only have one or a few opt-ins. I actually have a lot. So I like to list out the ones that I'm focused on promoting for the month here. So for the opt-ins for August, obviously the book tracker was something that I have published for you guys as a freebie for August. But then also I have a new one that's going to be coming out, you know, in the next few days or weeks, depending on, I forget when this is coming out, but there is a, another, um, freebie that I'm, you know, creating that will go out in August that it's for it's September's freebie, right? So these are going to be the opt-ins that I'll be most likely focused on for August. Then we have a box for campaigns. So what organized marketing efforts do I need to execute on this month? So for me in August, it was all about this new posting schedule that I am doing, which is the daily posting on one of my platforms and also the live weekly email. So that really does go in with my new posting schedule, but having an actual email that I send out every week that's live, which means I have to write it every week is different for me because in the past I've bulk written all of my emails and then they were auto scheduled. So it's just a little bit different. And for that reason, I wanted to make sure that I had visibility to it. I could also go ahead and actually write in here and say the CEO strategy planner sale probably should have also been listed in here, but um, that was just something that, you know, I just didn't write in there at the time. But if I had like a full blown campaign, like a full blown marketing campaign, like a launch or like something I was doing with a product or something that was really a organized push, it would be listed in here. Then we get to the platforms and content section. And this is really where the magic of the editorial calendar happens. This is where I list out the platforms that I create content for and map out what content I'm going to be posting. So there are three columns that are on this section because I believe that it's a great business strategy to use three different platforms at least to be talking to your customers and growing your audience. But if you use less right now, Feel free to just use what you need. Or if you use more platforms, technically I actually use four, right? Because my email list is another one, but I don't list out my emails in this. Um, so, you know, that's just the way that I make do with this. Um, but if you needed to, you could always, you know, another way you could print this is just to have a content planner on both your page, whatever works for you, okay? So here I will fill in my three platforms. So my blog, YouTube, and Instagram. I, it says Instagram and IGTV because I'm also making sure that I post Instagram TV videos. 
So for my new content schedule for August, I am blogging twice a week, Tuesday, Thursday, posting a video a week to YouTube on Saturday, and I'm, then I'm posting three days a week on Instagram, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, with one post on Wednesday being an Instagram TV post. So I normally don't worry about planning out my Instagram stories per se. I usually post there every day. Um, and I'm also not really focused on the new Reels feature on Instagram either. Um, so for right now, this is really what I'm focused on planning in terms of my editorial calendar. But of course, again, do what works for you. Now, referring back to the content brainstorm, I will go ahead and I will pick out posts and topics and decide which content is best suited for a blog post, which one I think would be a great YouTube video, and which one I feel like should be posted onto Instagram. Then I just list out my selections for my editorial calendar in each column that's appropriate, right? And I make a little checkbox with my highlighter and I add the date for myself to reference as well um, so that all of my content is actually planned out for the month. So these are like all the blog posts, these are all the YouTube posts, these are all the Instagram posts with their, you know, the content title and the date that they're going out. And that's essentially my editorial calendar for the month. Now, in addition to creating this content planner, I also like to track my content on a content tracker. So I have one of these content tracker pages for each one of my platforms. You can see here, I have this one highlighted says blog, this one says YouTube, and this one says Instagram, and I think I even have one, yes, for emails as well. And so what I will do is once I have that content broken out, I'll go ahead and just write it out each piece of content. And this way I'll be able to track the work as I'm doing it, right? So a lot of times I will end up bulk filming or bulk writing blog posts or, you know, taking pictures in bulk, right? So this is a way that I can actually keep track of all the stages of the content creation process, you know, because I can track whether or not I've written the message, whether I have the media for it created, if it's actually been you know, put up and scheduled and also to follow up if I've done additional promotion because it's also great you know, when you are posting um, to YouTube or your blog or Instagram or whatever to cross promote with other platforms as well, right? That's always another strategy, best practice. Um, so I have all of the content will be listed out on its appropriate tracker and then I can just check box where I'm at so I always know where I'm at with the work. Then finally, I will also sometimes, but not always, use one of these content outline pages to actually go ahead and organize my ideas for specific content. Now, because my work is all done on a computer, I normally write everything out on the computer, but sometimes I just like to see plans for content, especially YouTube videos. I use this a lot for YouTube videos. Um, I like to see the ideas mapped out. It's just sometimes easier for me to create an outline using these little boxes um, than kind of just doing it and wing it on the fly on my computer. So these outline pages have a space for three pieces of content, right, per page, which is really great, a nice little, you know, truncated outline. And they have a place for me to put my title or, you know, the subject of the post date. I can outline key points. I have an area for my call to action an area for an opt-in if I want to feature an opt-in, and then an area for any media that I might need to have in addition. So yeah, this is just an example of like some filled out ones. You can see here, like the Disbound 101 video, I mapped it out here, right? The Clear Planner Trend video, I mapped it out here. My Mid-Year Planner Setup here, right? So, you know, I don't use these for every piece of content, but sometimes I do find them to be very helpful for me to organize my ideas. So I will use those as well all part of helping me to execute flawlessly on my marketing plans. So one more little piece that I would like to show you is how my marketing plans fit in with my overall monthly business plans. So within the CEO strategy planner, I do have these like quarterly business plan pages where I can break out my ideas for the quarter as well. So I'll start with this here. You can see I just have, um, I have some things covered up for privacy, but in the top, you know, I talk about my income breakdown. Then I have a brainstorm area here for me to kind of talk about the things that I want to get out of my head that might need to be done in the quarter. And then I have these boxes for each month in the quarter 
for what I'm focused on, some marketing elements that I need to be aware of, and any list building initiatives. And then for each month, I have a monthly business plan as well. So a lot of this is actually going to echo what you saw in my content plan, right? So my focus for the month, you didn't see this before, but it came from off of this quarterly overview. My focus for August was my shop update. So if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you may already know this that I've been updating the look of my shop and just making it more current and making it easier to use. So that was like my big project for the month. Um, and then here I have my campaigns listed out. Like I said before, I should have had CEO sale put on the content planner, but at least it's here. I've got the, you know, the new posting schedule, the weekly emails and the CEO sale. Those were the main things that I was focused on campaign wise. Then I have the ability to break out a monthly calendar. And what I tend to do with this is I highlight the date that content is going out. Now, obviously with my new content schedule, every day content goes out. Um, so every day is highlighted, but I've also gone in and just written out for myself as a reference, you know, on Mondays, I'm inst doing Instagram, Tuesdays blog, uh, Wednesdays, IGTV, Thursday blog, Friday, Instagram, Saturday video, Sunday email, right? And then at the bottom down here, I can list out any important dates and events. So there wasn't very much going on because a lot of my work this month was, you know, behind the scenes with my shop. So I didn't have any like deadlines to really worry about. Um, but you can see here, I do have listed out, you know, eight, nine, the CEO sale opens and then eight sixteen is when I closed it. Right. So this was already a sale that actually happened um, last week. So yeah. So those are just like things for me to keep in mind that I know that I've got the sale for the code for um, you know a specific period of time. And that was just information for me to have on hand so I make sure everything is moving smoothly. And then of course, on the back of this, I also have key tasks for what I'm doing for the month. So you can see like the update of the shop theme, adjust, adjust pages and graphics. So just all little things that I'm doing that are behind the scene work that I was working on for August. So that is how I create marketing plans for my business. And of course, the tools that I use to get the job done primarily the CEO strategy planner. The final thing that I really wanted to drive home with each of you before we wrap this video up, however, is that although I take a lot of time and care to sit down and map out and plan out my content and my marketing for the month, I'm definitely not someone who's afraid to change the plan. And I think that that's a very important thing to keep in mind. There are very often times where I may at the beginning of the month map out a specific content piece for a specific platform as part of my editorial calendar. And then when the time comes to actually create the content, I might be inspired to do something else, right? There might be content or information that I think is more important to share at the time. And I might shelve or, you know, push aside or defer the content that was originally planned. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. In fact, I think that's something that actually makes a better um, and more engaging editorial calendar is when you really are very confident in the content that you're putting out. So I want you to know that just because you make a plan doesn't mean that it can't be edited in the future. But overall, I do believe that it is a great practice to outline your business plans like this and make a solid effort to stick to it. So many people starting a business right now make plans and when they don't see immediate results, they will change their plans. And then if they still don't see results, they change their plan again. And if they're still not good results, they change the plan again. And I think that more often than not, what really helps drive results is consistent effort um, and making sure that you're at least sticking to the same strategies, right? I think it's one thing to swap out, you know, a YouTube video post, right? And say, you know, instead of making this post, I'm going to make that post. Um, but the point is, is that at the end of the day, I'm still posting consistently on my YouTube and that's why I'm seeing consistent results. So I just want to make that distinction because I do think there's a lot of people who try, who put effort into their digital marketing and they get disheartened when they don't see results. But I think that it's important that we stick to strategies um, and give them a really good chance to work out, um, even if the individual pieces of content aren't doing the best. Like for me, I, I post plenty of videos on YouTube that don't get, you know, the type of reaction or engagement that I'm hoping for. And that doesn't mean that being on YouTube is wrong for me. It just means that that piece of content wasn't right for my audience. And perhaps it just wasn't right at that particular time that I posted it. So, you know, it's always important to stay consistent with your strategies. And for me, 
you know, having the ability to map out a complete content plan, a complete marketing plan for the month with my CEO strategy planner is very important because I'm sticking to those essential strategies that are supported and, you know, frameworked out with the CEO strategy planner. So I hope this video has been helpful to you and to give you a little bit of extra value, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little secret sale just for you who are watching this video during the first weekend of it being published on to YouTube. If you would like to get yourself a copy of the CEO Strategy Planner and follow the steps that I've outlined in today's video to get yourself on a you know consistent marketing strategy, go ahead and use the code CEO Plans for $25 off your purchase. I will leave all the details down below in the description box for the sale and the parameters and the code and the link to the planner so you have everything organized down there. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave me any questions or comments down in the comment section of this video. For more of the behind the scenes of my productivity life and business, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Miss Trenchcoat. I've been posting there very frequently on Instagram stories. And of course, I've been posting a few times a week on my feed as well, including some IGTV videos. So there's a lot of extra content going up on Instagram if you're interested. And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye bye